Introducing Fraser Cardigan, plus five tops to wear with a curved hem cardi. Hi sewing friends! This video reviews everything you need to know about the brand new Fraser Cardigan from Love and Ocean Sewing Patterns. Fraser comes in ladies sizing extra small to 5x and is a super cozy outer layer, perfect for all the yummy sweater knits and French terry that you have got in your stash. Thanks for joining me here on the Love Notions PDF Pattern Sewing Channel. Love Notions patterns are easy to sew and easy to wear. And today we are discussing the brand new pattern on sale now, Fraser Cardigan. So here's the line drawing. And as you can see, this pattern is a simple piece, but it has details that make it fun to sew and so easy to wear. Today, we're going to talk about this pattern's details, the fabric options, as well as some sewing tips for that curved hem. Are you wondering what to wear with this Cardi? I've got five patterns that coordinate perfectly. If you're looking for the testers pictures, we've got a huge roundup of those near the end of the video, so you can skip ahead to that if you'd like. I cannot even believe how good our testers makes were. They were all just stunning. And seeing all of these gorgeous makes means that this is a pattern that can work for everyone, regardless of your sewing experience or your unique body type. First of all, Fraser Cardigan is all about that curved hem. In fact, one of the ambassadors requested this pattern because she couldn't find a pattern with this unique type of curved pattern piece construction, an actual curved pattern piece. When Tammy saw it, inspiration hit and we went full steam ahead. And in fact, I think that this is one of her fastest patterns to develop from conception to finished product because it is exactly what we all want to be wearing this season. So let's talk about the details. This pattern is available with or without a hood. It has optional pockets and it can either have cuffs or a hemmed sleeve. If you love the idea of a no hem garment, use the pocket bands with the cuffs and you've got a super quick make with no need for a cover stitch or any type of top stitching. Fraser comes in sizes extra small to 5X in ladies sizing. Size 5X goes up to a 57.5 inch full bust measurement and a 59.5 inch hip. We love the super roomy pockets. You can fit anything and everything in there, including your giant copy of Outlander. Um, we actually based the name of this pattern after the main characters. And someone recently joked that this pattern is kind of like Jamie Fraser giving you a hug. And I think that's a fitting comparison. As with many patterns, fabric is everything. So pay attention to the requirements page. This pattern works best with medium weight knit fabrics with at least 25% four-way stretch. French Terry, Ponte, some Liverpools, certain types of scuba and cotton lycra are all ideal. The pattern can also be used for lighter weight fabrics like most sweater knits, jersey blends, and double brush poly, but really take care with sizing. You might need to size down if you are between sizes and you are using that lighter weight fabric with lots of stretch. The pattern includes instructions about blending sizes, but take note that you're gonna want to use the band size that corresponds to your pattern's hip size. And you're gonna use the sleeve that corresponds to your pattern's high bust size. Now, some sewing advice. Getting that curved hem band can be a little tricky, especially if you're sewing with a fabric that is not behaving well, like something without good recovery or a looser weave fabric that can get easily stretched. This can result in some waviness where the band is attached to the main body of the garment or even some wonkiness in the outermost seam along that curved hem band. So here are some tips. Number one, do not surge the outermost seam. It adds a ton of bulk and it could make the hem band wavy. So use a straight stitch and reduce your presser foot pressure and lengthen your stitch length. Number two, clip into the curves, especially on that outermost seam. Number three, when you're attaching the band to the main cardigan, do a straight stitch, just like you did before on the hem band on the outermost seam. In order to get a nice finish on the inside though, feel free to go over that with a serger or an overcast stitch. And number four, don't underestimate the power of pressing as you go. The seams always behave so much nicer if you use your iron on, the, on them after most steps. And it can make a huge difference in the way, difference in the way your project comes out. So now 
what to wear with Fraser cardigan. This is a curved hem cardigan and it's meant to have an open front and not necessarily meet in the middle. So we might need to consider a little bit more carefully what we've actually got on under there. I have five patterns that I think are perfect for wearing underneath. I'm so glad that you joined us here on the Love Notions channel. Make sure to leave us a comment below and say hi. We love to hear from you and we especially want to hear what you think about our latest pattern. The rest of this video has the amazing tester photos. Take a look at the lineup and I think you will see exactly where you could add this into your wardrobe. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe to watch all of our other pattern videos and sewing tutorials. Make sure that you follow Love Notions and join our newsletter to stay up to date with all of our $5 Feature Friday sales, sewing events, and pattern releases. All the links are in the box below. Thanks for sewing with us.